Hello guys and welcome back, in this short tutorial, we will learn how to do wireframe renders in Blender, it's an easy and fast method and can be reused again once we save it, so let us jump into it. We will start with Suzanne this time, and split the work window to open a geometry nodes workspace, hit new to add a new node set, and in default it has the input and output black nodes, between them. We will first add a mesh to curve node, and right away it will turn the object into wireframe, now to render this we need to turn it back into mesh, so we will add another node called curve to mesh, and this way when we render it, it should look as we see it in the viewport, to control those wires thickness, we need the curve circle node, so add it under the mesh to curve one, and connect it to the profile input, the radius by default is way too big, so we need to adjust it, and also the last node has two resolution which we don't need, so put it on two or three, and now we have the node set for the wireframe, we just need to add a join geometry node to get the original mesh back, this one works as a mix, so drop it before the group output, and connect it to both the group geometry and the curve set, finally, we can add two materials, usually black and white colors, change their names, and in the geometry nodes, we will add a set material, copy it to the mesh line, and pick each material to the right area. We can also go back to the material settings, and assign to those material a raw color with just RGB node. To save this node set and use it again, we need to select all the nodes beside the group input and output, and just hit Ctrl G to group them, hit Tab to open or close the new group name it from this field so we identify it later. We can also add the radius field outside to the group node by connecting this socket to it, and now we just save it as usual. So in a new scene, with couple of objects, we can go to file, append, locate the file we just saved, and append the node tree to it. After that we can select any object, go to modifiers, and drop on it a geometry nodes modifier, select the node tree from here, it just shows the wireframe because this modifier already has a geometry group, so we need to delete it and connect the mesh. And here you have it, we can also add a subdivision modifier and make sure to place it over the geometry node. To copy this wireframe to any object in the same scene, just select the objects and the one with the wireframe and link the modifier to them with Ctrl L. This method is easy to set and once you do it, you can just append it to any scene and apply the wireframe within a minute, so that's it guys, stay sharp, goodbye. 